Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a build update of the Coca-Cola 1968 Chevy El Camino SS kit. Now this is an AMT kit put back out by Round 2 Hobbies and man I gotta say thank you to Round 2 Hobbies for bringing these back. I love the El Caminos. But anyhow, let's get the guys out the way. Excuse me, Duke. Lee, you got move. Chandler, you can come back later and finish up. And Zach, same with you. The other day, I spent a lot of time putting on a lot of chrome. I didn't realize how much chrome was on a 68 El Camino until I started using my Molotov pen to chrome it up. So first thing I did is I put a second coat of the Accent Country Colors Real Black on the roof. Now I did thin it out just a smidge, and I think it laid down beautifully smooth on there. So I did the roof with it, and then I did the Maltau pen all the way around. Got a nice bead in everywhere. This Maltau pen is really sharp, and they, it lays down nicely. The only thing with it is, and uh, suggestion, let it sit for about a week before you start messing around with it. So, let oh, and I also did the vinyl headliner. But let me heed my own warning here and get this out of the way before my snicker bar fingers end up in the chrome. Uh, one of uh, the friends of our... our uh, uh, videos here gave me a suggestion to do pleated seats and I got the second coat on the pleated seats and just about 20 minutes ago I glued the seats together I love the ring of chrome around these seats I think that's going to look good I still have just a smidge touch up work to do on them but it laid down there the dog hair it laid down there real nice so and I, I love that two tone what a great idea so let me get these out of the way real quick. And we'll bring in the door panels and the uh, dashboard. Now these I used my silver gel pen. And this is cheapo silver set number whatever from Hobby Lobby that came with three silvers three golds, and three whites. Well, you don't see me showing you the whites because they lasted all of about seven seconds before every one of them was dried up. But the gold and silver are hanging on strong, and they do a good job. I do need to do some touching up work because I was just a little bit shaky the other night, and you can see some where I messed up. I'll come back in with my X18 semi-gloss black and a micro brush. And I'll touch up, and then I'll come back with the uh, silver pen over top after that dries. And I think that'll look good. My dash, I told everybody my plans were to drill out the uh, gauges. No, I'm not going to do that. There's a uh, support on the back here. Now, I, I know I could get rid of it, but I'm just afraid the way this is, and also the way the tack is, the tack on this, on the old Del Caminos, not many of them had them, and I, it was really hard. I thought I remembered it, but I, I wanted to make sure, and it was hard to find. The tack on these actually went this way, up and down in a square gauge. And that's that's what it is. And I looked. Let me see if I can pull it out real quick. But I did look on here with my visor, and it sure looks like... It sure looks like that's the tack. I mean, it's got all the lines. I thought this was the pernundal at first for the shifter, but it's not. And you can see it goes all the way up and then a little bit of yellow and then into the red. This is the tack. So I'm impressed with round twos to even put that in there. But there we go with that. Um, I got some paint and work to do. And I was also told by another fan or friend of fan friend of the uh, videos, that, that he uses a number five gel pen in between to touch up. 
uh, a number five black gel pen. So I already ordered that and I found a 0.35 gel pen that I ordered too, just to see if that'd be even better for doing like um, the uh, air conditioner uh, levers and things like that and around in here. Now those are the black ones, so we'll see what happens. But let me get these out of the way. I did do some little bit of work on the uh, um, drywall. Jeez, oh, eat the firewall. <laughs> I used my accent black again, the uh, real black on the bottom. I like how flat this is and how it's not like the uh, flat black that uh, the XF1 uh, one from Tamiya, because now what I can do is I can come back and forth with that and this, and I can make two colors out of flat, and then still use the X18, the semi-gloss, for all the metal brackets and supports. On the other side, I use the same thing for the carpet, and what I'll do is I'll use my uh, quick shine on the rubber and on the gas pedal, and that'll that'll like give it a gloss coat and make it look like that rubber floor mat that's in all the old cars. So we got that. Now over here, I have eight Excel spark plug wires that are the 0.3 millimeter solder. I'll put a link to this in the uh, description and I'll, I'm gonna just do that for now on. So if you're looking for it, just go over there. I get it on uh, Amazon. I was told that this is kind of hard to get some places. So it's always on Amazon. If you can order from them, uh, you'll be able to find it. But I got some detail work done on the engine. My starter, I used flat aluminum on the front, a mix of flat aluminum and uh, gold leaf, which is X12, the Tamiya, for the uh, center of the, I guess that's the capacitor. Uh, I also did that on the uh, carb and the bottom part of the fuel pump. And then this is just semi-gloss black. I did an orange fram filter on the other side. And then everything got panel lined just to, to do highlights. I'm not trying to make it dirty. I just want to highlight everything. I drilled out for my PCV lines. This one's run around to the side of the carb. The other line I ran is my fuel line down to the bottom. And I ran the little vacuum line that comes off of the dash pod up front, down around, and back into the carb underneath. So that is ready to rock and roll. And that's about it, guys. So other than me saying thank you to everybody and all your kind words, criticisms, and um, help along the way, I appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up, and all the subscriptions. We're getting close to 2,000 subscriptions. And I told the wife last night that when I hit 3,000 subscriptions, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to give away a couple of kits. So we're a long ways away from there, but I want to do that just as a kind of a thank you to everybody. And what I'll do is I'll have it to where um, anybody that wants to join it will make a comment and I'll go through the comments by name. And we'll do a random pick of two of them. And we'll give away, I'll try to give away a decent kit. The uh, Metallic Gray XF56. I tried to put a clear coat on this on a piece of, oh, by the way, I'm stripping the black off of that hood. I can't stand it. I ordered some more of the uh, Tamiya's Mica Red. And I'm going to paint that mica red so the whole thing is going to be... It's, I, it's been bugging me enough to where I had to buy a new can just so I can strip that and make it right. But anyhow, I tried to clear coat this and it sucked that clear coat in there to where it was almost a semi-gloss, but not even that much with three coats of clear. So I was thinking that would make a cool color for a, a Roadster, but... It, it works good on the exhausts. And then I did my flat aluminum and rubber black on the air conditioner hose too. But I'll let you go from there. Uh, Y'all have a great night and thanks again for watching.